Hi, I am Veronica Gago. I am from Buenos Aires, Argentina. I am part of the New Namenos Collective and also the Feminist Strike Movement. Uh, and also I am very committed with the development of the Feminist Strike and internationally. Uh, we think that the transnational dimension of the feminist movement is a key dimension in that moment against neoliberalism, against fascism, but also uh, as a way to um, become uh, as we are, but more and more massive, radical and transversal in our way of uh, weaving connections, uh, producing political alliances and also uh, um, forging a very radical way of organizing uh, between very different uh, collectives, unions, uh, also uh, people who uh, work in the so-called informal economy or popular economy, but also uh, well LGBTQ plus uh, collectives, uh, migrant collectives. So these uh, three uh, items that I think are very important of massiveness transversality and radicality, I think that are main points of this Feminist International that we are very interested in. Our experience of the feminist strike in Argentina is uh, an experience of a political process since 2016, so we have been developing uh, since uh, seven years. And I think that it's interesting how we uh, achieve to connect violence and labor, but especially unwaged labor, non-recognized labor. Uh, for example, I am thinking in peace and labor, but also in the labor of the uh, peripheries, but also in the household labor. And we are all the time trying to connect um, domestic violence, with economic violence, with racist violence, with institutional violence, but also with violence uh, in workplaces. So uh, I think that the feminist strike um, has functioned as a very interesting tool for the politicization of violence and labor, but also to think uh, in going beyond the traditional idea of a strike, uh, that is a sort of privileged tool for the people who is uh, uh, in, in wage labor, in formalized labor and in unions. With the feminist strike, we are including in uh, that uh, measure of force different uh, populations that are not formalized in terms of wage labor, but also we are putting in the center the reproductive labor and also we are problematizing, for example, agribusiness and extractivism. And we are asking how the people who is fighting against extraction, against agribusiness, ex against exploitation in a very wide sense, is part of the feminist strike. So I think it's interesting how, in our experience, the feminist strike is also a, a political research tool to organize and to uh, well produce assemblies, but also to uh, well. Uh, do demonstrations and also to um, occupy the streets and also uh, continue uh, an everyday process of uh, political organization. We uh, organize a process of assemblies, then we organize the strike and we organize also the demonstration. Uh, but what is most interesting is that we produce, for example, a common document between more than 200 organizations. And I think that that document is very interesting because it's a sort of uh, political program from below, from the uh, different feminist organizations, in order to learn from each other what we are reclaiming, but also uh, what we are fighting for. And also uh, we have a sort of... Um, uh, map of conflicts that are uh, going on and also is a way of organizing the political labor during